And he'll certainly be looking to do that again here today. Question isn't will he raise, question is how much. Raise to 100,000. This time it's a min race, 100,000. So he's varying things up a bit. He's found the five, six of spades. So is he hoping to see a flop here, Joe? No, I think it's he's just making it just a raise in position and mixing it up a little bit rather than moving all in every hand. How much you have, Fabian? Confusing his opponents a little bit. That's three. Three That's thirty-five. Thirty-five. Cool. So Igor Kurganov is going to make the call have with the jack seven of spades. We'll see a flop. Heads up to the flop. Igor Kurganov is the first player to speak. Two nine three with two spades. So both players Check. have flopped the flush draw. Trickett doesn't want to see a spade on the turn here. Bet eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. So Sam's bet 80,000. Action's back on Igor. Igor. Igor could quite easily check raise here with his spade draw. He's taking the safe Four. option, he's just calling. To the turn. So we'll see the turn card, and it's the four of spades. Wow, what a card. That has made Sam Trickett a straight flush. He is absolutely unbeatable in this hand. And Igor Kurganov has got a jack high flush, so he'll think that he's unbeatable. Both players will think they've got the best hand. This will be very, very interesting to watch. This is what we call a cooler, Jono. All the chips are going into the middle. Sam has the absolute nuts. He's got the best hand possible. Igor's going to call 100%. So Sam's bet out. He's bet 160,000. Behind a check from Igor. So Igor is trying to trap him here, thinking that he's got the best hand. Little does he know that Sam is unbeatable. Morning, call. Morning, call. Join dead. Oh my god. All in, call. Sam says you're drawing dead. And shows in the straight flush. No mercy, Sam. Straight away, call the join. I've seen this. Jesus Christ, man. No. I think Sam's the world. Now, Igor, what went through your head when you saw Sam turn over that straight flush? Uh, yes, he only has six high flush, and I have a jack high flush. But, uh, no, it was a cooler, like nothing anybody can do.
baby. Sure. The family. We can merge. The triple <laughs> merge, merge with the family. Million. Like merging is playing an all-in moment. You want to do it blind one hand? Oh, I've already just searched two thousand. No, I just want to play. We could merge, baby. Well, the short stack right merger. now is Tobias oh. Rankemeyer, who's basically on twenty-one or twenty-two big blinds here. Okay, Tony's been doing a lot of moving Two's in, and down. Tobias so, open for how much you find thirty-two. Uh, three. 80 behind, 370. Let's see if Tony G can get away from this. This timing is so out of I mocked out a turn. Yeah. Uh oh, one hand penalty. Oh, that might that might uh, be a penalty. I think so. Blind. They said there's no warning. You're right. So. It's to one hand penalty. We were all warned at the same time. Oh yeah. That you don't even need a floor. I mean, it's yeah, and it's not really have anything to do with Phil Locke. It's sort of about the jungle man the because uh, he right. was penalized. It's it like really. I got penalized. Not, I got penalized yesterday for one, and so uh, it's, uh, it, it might help keep me out of trouble. You're forced to call, right? I might get into trouble. Cool. And did Tony G oh, decide to just flat here? So that's, that's um, this could uh, actually. Yeah, we're all so. I'm just gonna voluntarily miss a hand because I acted out of turn. Yeah. He does have the he does have the flesh draw, runner runner flesh draw, runner runner straight. So Tobias draw. checked right oh, behind yeah, him, and now Tony's picked good. up the nut flush draw, Weird. and Tobias has picked up a straight and a flush draw, actually a straight flush draw. Five bits, forty-seven thousand. Cool. Wow. wow, he snap called it. Tony's really wow. playing this slow. Now, I mean. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Straight no. flush. Oh, oh my gosh! Flush. Oh, this is sick. This is really the sickest hand. If he can get oh, away man, from this, I'd be so impressed. Put you on an iron. I mean, it could be the straight flush. Like, wow. Straight flush, right? Unbelievable! I am so when, impressed. Then when oh, Tobias Reckemeyer finds out what he just... That's I mean, amazing. Then he just missed out on another 150,000, Phil. What, what's he going to be thinking? Oh, wow. I mean, it's just incredible. And not flash. Wow. That's there. That's there. Come on, man. Well is, done. Is yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> I mean, I put you on a nine. I think you have a nine. It's easy. Easy straight flash against me. <laughs> How easy was that? So the big blind is out, which means Yannis Lipris on the button. Blinds are in. Easy big blind to steal, as he ain't there. Who's going to notice this and take advantage? So out come the cards. The blinds are 8.16. Running anti two, folded all the way around. Ren here gets out of the way. Richard Wong, so too, gets out of the way. Jeff Kimber picks up the paint. He could be in a good spot here to nick the blinds and the antis. Just with the big blind missing. Raises it up. Makes it 3.5. C1 out of the way. Yanis on the button. Would have raised up anyway. Well, it looks like he's getting a bit tricky. A bit tricky on the button with Queen Deuce. Looks like he's raised it to about 8,000. And a call from Jeff. Oh, what a flop. What a flop, you did you're raising it up getting tricky with Queen Deuce and you flop the world but behind him Jeff has got the redraw for the nut flush it's on Yanis now then Jeff's checked Yanis has flopped the flush can't be thinking he's putting himself in any danger there was a small bet and a call from Jeff Pairs the board, doesn't really make any difference to Jeff's thinking. Probably check again, which he does. And Yanis will probably barrel. He raised on the button. The Queen Deuce. Jeff calling. 
pre-flop. And then the flop gets everybody involved. And just probably not thinking he's got a four in his hand. Might have, uh, might have an ace. But Jeff's got the re. He's got, he's got the, he's got the back door flush draw, so he could have the redraw. Well, Yannis carries on betting as we thought he would do. So he calls. Oh, Jeff gets there with the nut flush. <laughs> Have you seen Yannis? Yannis just gets there. Oh my word! What well, this is carnage. The straight flush against the nut flush. Jeff keeps it relatively small. He might be pot control here. He could be check raising in this situation. Yeah, then Yanis. Is it the straight flush? Not too sure. Either guy is worried about the paired board. Can't think Jeff puts Yanis on aces. Might put him on a smaller pocket pair when he re raised pre. And threes or threes or fives, but uh, he decided to check with the nut flush. He says, I bet I'm all in with the nut flush. And yeah, I'm snapping you off with the straight flush. What a hand. What a hand, Jeff kept it relatively small by check calling all the way down and didn't go broke. I think on, a, on, a, on an unpaired board there, I think Jeff probably goes broke. But uh, well done for him for not going broke. But Yanis getting tricky with Queen Deuce and just getting there. So 10 players at this featured table still, including Jennifer Harmon, who was absent from last year's main event. She was undergoing a kidney transplant, successful, we're happy to say. She's got pocket queens and raises to 200. Corey Zeidman from Coral Gables, Florida, made a stud final table last year. 9-8 of diamonds. Cool. Action on Brady Davis in his first World Series of Poker. He's 34 years old from Illinois. You cannot get up from a table here, Lon, without tripping over an Internet guy in a Red Sox cap. <laughs> Three to our flop now. The flop, 10 Jack Queen Harmon with a set, but Zeidman flops a queen high straight. Boy, that is the prelude to some fireworks, usually. Davis checks over to Harmon, who's got a set of queens, and she bets 500 chips on Zeidman. 2,000. <clears throat> he raises it up to 2,000 with that straight. When you're holding the two smallest cards of a straight, you want to raise everybody else out because you don't want somebody else to get lucky and get a higher straight on you. Well, he forced Brady Davis mm -hmm. out. Now action on Jen Harmon. It's 1,500 more to Jen. That is a lot at this stage of the tournament. She plays it safe and just calls. Zeidman with the lead with his straight as we go to the turn. The turn is a 10 of diamonds. Harmon makes a full house. And Boylan, that's virtually the worst card in the deck that could come out for Zeidman because it gives Jennifer Harmon, who checks, an almost unbeatable hand and makes Corey think his hand is even better now because of the straight flush draw on top of his made straight. 1,000. Zeidman bets 1,000. That's just bad luck for Corey Zeidman. He flops the straight, and then the next card gives him a straight flush draw, but if he makes the flush, he can't win. He can only win with the straight flush, and there's only one card left in the deck that could do that for him. Jen in the driver's seat. It's a 1,000 chip bet to Jen Harmon, and she's reaching. 3,000. She raises it to 3,000. Huh. And it is head shaking time now for Corey Zeidman. He doesn't know it, but only one card in the deck, the Seven of Diamonds, would save him. How can I get off of this hand? Every decision in the main event magnified. Both have monster hands. You lose this hand, your day just might be over. I think he might have Ace King, actually. I was hoping it wasn't that. Now I'm hoping something else. Yeah, if she had Ace King, she'd have the higher straight. Wow. And his flush, if he made it, then would beat her. Hmm. How can I possibly muck this hand? He can only muck it if he believes that she has the full house already. I call. He makes the call. 
We're going to the river. Jen Harmon with a huge advantage. And now the river card. Oh, the perfect card for Zeidman. The seven of diamonds gives him the straight flush. And he even checks it again, which an amateur would do to make sure he's got it. Wow. Action on Jen Harmon, who has the full house. She makes it 3,000 to put Zeidman all in. Why is Corey acting as if he's agonized? I guess I could do a lot of sightseeing if I lose this hand. You can't lose the hand. All in. It's over. Zeidman takes the pot. Straight flush. I knew you had that hand. Oh, mamma mia. It was hard to get off. I'm like, gosh, I flopped the straight. I'm like, ace king is the only hand that's going to beat me now. Don't put a seven of diamonds up there. Wow. Wow. Nice hand. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, a little for that. Thank right. you. Yeah, all right. Jennifer's been told she looks like she's in pain when she plays. She's got good reason right now. Takes a lot to beat you in a hand. Straight flush home. Jennifer not getting any consolation from Zeidman. Harmon hurting early at the main. Strong. And knowing that a player like Patrick could potentially block me. I think both players played their hand really well. I probably would have folded the turn. See, it may, may sound a little bit weak. And I'm not just saying it because Patrick had quads. Like, I just feel like Patrick has something when he leads into them two players. They played a lot of hands in Heat 1. There's a funny dynamic coming up between Seaver and Patrick. Yeah, I think Patrick will be glad to get that one over on him because, uh, like you're saying, he think, I think he felt a little bit owned in his last heat, so he'll be glad about that one. It looked like Scott was bluffing too because he just like snap folded, so Patrick will think, yes, I got the maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty unlucky river as well for Scott. Two fold. Three raised, 10,000. Oh. Vanessa just called here. No, she's uh, she's up to ten thousand. Oh, okay. I think. Okay. So a standard raise. She's going to be so disappointed if she don't get action here. Because she deserves action. Look at all. <coughs> she does. Seven. Flop, please. It's fine. Have a look at this. Nope. Okay, Elkie's going to flick in from the big blind. Yeah. See if she gets some action. Poor Elkie. <laughs> I'm already starting to feel sorry for Elky for some reason. I feel, I don't like, know, I like, feel like he's going to win a big fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's played good and they're going to reward him. Yeah, that, I think wow. this all in, basically. <laughs> I mean, I want to say it's kind of similar to you know the flop that Luke Schwartz had against Tony G. Yeah. Um, to Luke went for a check raise on the flop. Elky's led in here. What's the idea? Um, I quite like the lead here because Vanessa would check back quite a bit. I would go for a smaller raise so he can jam his draws. Like he's obviously got a good draw, so he's going to jam that. But like if he has a hand like Jack Nine that he's leading or six seven, I would like to raise as if I'm raise folding maybe. Um, so but so I don't think Elk is likely to lead, say with a ten or an eight because if he does get raised, he kind of has to fold. I think he's more likely to check call those hands. So in my head, I, I would think that Elkie would have a hand like. Six, seven, Jack, nine, or even Jack Queen. Jack perhaps. Queen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, a lot, of, yeah, just hands like that that doesn't really want to check call. Well, the sizing of this Selps made it thirty-eight. She's got about one eighty back. Is he min raised? I really like it if he's min raised. Like the min raised, like can fold out hands like aces, kings, and queens. Make it can potentially make a big fold. Oh. But like when you just shove, three raise then. She, she's way too short to fold. But. Here we go. Here we go off to the races. And Vanessa saying, look at this. I finally get the aces. Yeah. I'm actually a dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. The type of hand that normally cracks aces. No, that would have been a better I hand. believe it's Elky. All, well, th these guys have... Ooh, that's a nice card for Selps. That changes nothing. This is so huge because Selps has two points in hand. Elky's only got three. Yeah, this is a big pot. Uh, oh, wow. Straight flush is that? No, I think so. Yeah. Just a straight flush. Yeah, straight flush should do it. Just a straight flush. Yep. That's uh, unlucky, Vanessa. Made not, did not. Tell me that you love me, even if it's